favorite chokes, guys. And uh, I do this from, actually I do this from a lot of different positions. I do that from like half guard, I do it from mount, I do it from side mount, but it's a really, really short choke, really short choke, but I really like doing it. So I get to position and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on side mount somehow. And what I do is I work myself all the way through and I make a contact. And sometimes I come up and I'll make a fist right next to his neck, guys. But I'm putting my, my hand right into the collar. My thumb is in the collar and I keep this control. Once I get to position here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the collar that's on the opposite side. So if I'm holding his right collar, I'm going to grab his left collar. The thing about this is that uh, a lot of people automatically walk their hands really high so they can do like a, like a back choke or a cross collar choke. And I tell them like, you don't need that. All I'm trying to do is make contact on the opposite side and then relieve the slack here. That's all I need to do. So whatever slack he has on this collar, I just pull it and now from there, I just start finishing into the choke. And the choke is real, real quick and real short, all right? So a lot of it is here, I get side mount, my hand comes in and I start grabbing and I start putting position. I don't start going into the choke until, until I make this contact. I don't want you like turning into it and just trying to do one handed. What happens is this, He'll start turning onto his side and try to try to escape or do something else or try to block it. He'll try to block it with this hand. There you go. He'll do something like that. The beautiful part of this is that it doesn't matter if he blocks it. If he blocks it and my arm is still touching him, all I'm going to do is keep pulling on the opposite collar and I still feel the choke and I still get the same choke. So to me, it doesn't matter. And the, the best part of this is I'll get here. The other person will put their hand underneath and they will not allow me to drive my elbow down. They're going to hold it and they're going to keep it away. But my arm is still on their neck. And all I got to do is pull on the other side. And then that's the choke. The choke is on this hand, not on this hand. This one's already doing its job. All you got to do is keep it there. This hand's going to come in and just start pulling all the way down. And just follow the line of the choke, wherever the choke is going. All right. So let's turn sideways a little bit so they can see it. So from here, I'm on side mount, I come up, I grab my collar, I keep it in position, and I keep it in control. Once I get up to here, my forearm, the side of my arm is touching his neck. Once I get to there, my hand is going to come in here anywhere underneath. It doesn't have to be too high. You don't have to do that. All you got to do is grab the collar down, and all I do is start pulling and pushing and finishing into the choke right there. If he puts his hand on my elbow and I can't walk, that's perfectly fine. I can still finish the choke. And get to position all right so a lot of it is just me making sure that my arm is touching his neck i make my fist and i have my thumb inside and all i do is my other hand underneath all i'm doing is pulling this this gi really tight and i'm walking down the line of the gi wherever the gi is going okay and bringing it across does that make sense or not so a lot of it is they think that the top one is doing the choke the bottom one is the one that i'm concentrating on all right if of course he doesn't block my my arm, I will pull a little bit more, but if I keep it here, I can still do the choke and get into position. All right, you ready? One, two, three.